Now there's a couple of different ways of doing this question. Either you could rearrange this into y equals mx plus c and then draw the line that way. Or there's a slightly different method which is a little bit quicker. So we're going to do the slightly quicker method so that you understand it and you're happy with it. So we're going to find out the y-intercept first. And the way we're going to do that is at the y-intercept we know that x equals 0. Now if x equals 0 we can rewrite that equation but x equals 0 so that gets rid of the x term. So we're going to end up with minus 3y equals minus 30 because the x's have got rid of, we've got rid of them. Okay, then I'll put my lines in. And so I'm going to divide both sides by minus 3. So that will just be y equals, and then a minus divided by a minus is a positive, 30 divided by 3 is 10. So y is 10. And let's just clean this up a little bit, give ourselves more room. Then I'm going to find the x-intercept, which is not something you use very often, but at the x-axis, y equals 0. So we're going to go do, for, do the same thing, but instead of getting rid of the x now, we're going to get rid of the y. So rewriting the equation that we're given in the question, I'm going to write 10x. I'm not going to write minus 3y because it's equaling 0. Equals minus 30. And I'm going to put my lines in. And I'm going to divide both sides by 10. So x equals minus 3. So our y-intercept uh, y is 10, and our x-intercept is minus 3. So I'm going to plot the y-intercept as 10, and the x-intercept as minus 3, which would be over here. Then I'm going to draw my line to connect them. And you just need to do this with one clean line through. And I'm going to do it in two, but you really shouldn't do that. You should just put your ruler down and just draw a line straight through them. And don't forget that you start the line where the graph starts and you end it where the graph ends. Otherwise, if you have gaps in it, you might lose marks. So for this, let's finish it off. So our y-intercept was 10 and our x-intercept was minus 3.